Hello everyone, I'm Greg, and welcome to our playthrough for Orgrim's Lair of Thunderstone Quest Barricade Mode Solo. If you haven't already, check out the setup video prior to this one to f figure out what cards we're using in the dungeon, the heroes, and the marketplace. As well our, as our prestige class, as it's a little down here, out of view. And then we also have our guild sponsorship. So first thing I will do is fill the dungeon rooms. So in the icy glades we'll have the ice method. Uh, three health, two magic resistance. It's immune to physical attack unless you have magic. So you have one frost wound right there and a treasure as well with two experience. And we also have the impish servant. Before and after battle lose one health point. So he's a little mean one. The little two rooms. We have the Tundra Wolf Pack. It's a swarm. Uh, they, you roll one d6 die for the health to add onto the four. And the plus one frost wound if you rolled a four plus for the health. And gives at least one frost wound. Orc Tribute Site. We have three health. Tundra Wolf Pack has a d6 die on it before and after battle. From your discard pile, destroy one hero or weapon. And two frost wounds there. Here, we have Adlet Guardsman as level 3. Before battle, a d6 to his armor. And then re resolve the following effects. If you roll a 1 or 2, uh, adds armor. And then roll again. 3 or 4, 2 extra wound frost wounds. 5 or more is 1 extra frost wound. And then in the Adlet Hunting Ground, we have the Adlet Mother. So, 8 health, immune to physical attack unless you have magic. And D6 uh, determines the armor. Uh, and then if you have a wound, you have to roll another D6 for the magic resistance. So, without further ado, we will draw our 6 cards here. Four, five, six. So this is what we have here. We have an adventure, adventure, Bree Septum, Thunderstone Staff, adventure, and adventure. So first thing we have to do, because it's barricade mode, we have to roll for the threat level, which is on one for the first round, so we get to roll one die. And it is a trophy. So a trophy, we get to gain 5 gold for this turn. It can be spent at any time during the turn. So that is awesome. And we have 3 gold right here. So we have 10 gold right off the bat. Uh, so what I think we want to do here... is we will I don't know if I want to go after we have a lot of we have to do, we want to do a village phase first because we can do village and dungeon phase so we have five ten we could go for arcane shop of wonders but I think what I'm going to do here hmm these heroes are too expensive to do. Well, no, I could do here. I'm gonna go to the bazaar. I'll put my ventures down. My gold, I have 10 gold. So I'm gonna purchase a Rugder Black, Ma Black Mane that's worth seven. Discard pile. And then I will also purchase a lantern token. I'll then go to the wilderness to do a dungeon phase. And we have one, two, three, four, five attack. So we will roll for the mosquito. So I needed my D6 here. And it is a six. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five. I think we're gonna use Bree here. 
Once per turn, after a die is rolled, re-roll it. And if you do, discard Bree, unless you have Joba. So we'll discard her to re-roll this. See if we can get a better roll. And it is still a six. So I'm rolling really high here. I wish I wasn't playing this game right now, but that's all right. So all I get, this is printed on, so it's hard to bring up every time. So I get one Frost Wound token only. I do not get to rank up or level up any heroes. So that's a bit of a bummer. So we will draw six more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then threat level goes to two. And roll one die. If I don't drop it. Sorry about that. And it's a plus one. So you can draw one card. So we will have to reshuffle our deck here. Or our dis discard pile. And you can draw a card. We got an adventurer out of it. So this is our hand adventurer, Thunderstone Staff, Adventurer, Dagger, Rugder, Joba, and another dagger. So we will throw adventurer and daggers together. We will throw another together. We have Rugder and Joba and Thunderstone Staff. So we will go to the village. We have two, four, five, six, seven gold. So what we will do here is go to the bazaar and we will purchase a short bow for five. So we have two left and we will also purchase an iron ration for our last two. Now also, because of our guild sponsorship, we have a rogue and an item, so we can gain an iron ration and have plus one HP for the rest of the turn. And then we will, because we have a light here, we have to have a light in order to heal a frost wound. So it's healing plus a light. So we can do that but I don't know if I want to because I can draw a card for a Thunderstone Staff. So I think I'm going to keep it. We will go do a dungeon phase. We will do... Uh, I think we're going to stick here. We're going to draw though for another card for a dagger. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so no matter what we roll here... For the mosquito, uh, we're gonna be all right. And it's a four, so we beat him. So we can level up an adventure. Uh, and I'm thinking we're gonna get the Lande. So right now she's just an elf rogue. And plus one combat if there's a revealed side quest or if you have two plus ranks in prestige. And then because of Joba spoils, we can level up a hero paying its cost. Uh, and if it's a level zero though, we pay zero. So we'll level up another adventure for another Lalande. And then we do get a frost wound because of the mosquito. However, spoils level up one hero pain minus two. If they are zero, level zero, heal one frost wound, ignoring the light cost. So because we had one, we can ignore that. So we're good, or we can heal that wound. And uh, so we have plus one HP for the uh, Jewelers Guild. So we have six HP still and I want to make sure that's all we have I believe so I'm gonna put this right there 
All right, so we can draw six more cards. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll need one more here. I'm shuffling my deck. And six. So that there. We'll raise the threat level up again to three. So last time we can roll one die. And it is a blue. So blue is get the gear. You may destroy one gear token. And then you add three monsters to the monster pool. And then you subtract uh, minus the gear's token's value. So. Right now, we have that and that. I want to look at my hand real quick and see if I want to keep any monsters in the monster pool. So we have Venture, Brief Septum, Thunderstone Staff. I think we're going to be alright to keep one monster so we will discard one iron ration token to get rid of two monsters in the monster horde so there's one monster left we will go to the village and what I have here is adventure adventure with Bree Septum two Rugder Black Manes and a Thunderstone Staff. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How much gold do we have? We have three, four, five, six, seven gold. So I'm gonna go to Bazaar. I'm gonna purchase a Ring of Learning for four. So it gives us three gold, two skill, and if you have a hero wielding weapon, you can draw a card. And it's worth four. And then we will also purchase another lantern token. We will heal our wound by going to the village. You can heal a wound and we have our light. So we're going to heal that. Uh, and then we will go to the dungeon. And we have one monster in the monster horde. So what we will do here is go down here we have this is room requirements one light we have two left over so once you use that light to heal a frost wound you lose that light for the rest of the turn so we still have two left so we're good the before battle abilities for the dungeon put your highest level hero on top of your deck so we're going to do that Oh, and I should have used my Jeweler's Guild for my village phase of uh, you have a rogue, which we did, in an item, we can gain an iron ration. I'm going to do that now and a plus one HP. I should have done that before. That's my fault, but I caught it now before it's too late. Um, so this is worth four HP or four health. And we have one, two, three, four and because he is a demon, he gains one. So we have five attack against him. So uh, we defeat the impish servant. So we will lose two uh, HP because of him. But because of our uh, jeweler's guild, we can get one back. So we still draw six cards by the end of the turn. So we get three experience points which is denoted right here at the bottom. One, two, three. And we defeated a level one plot plus monster with either two light or uh, five gold. We had three, four, five, six, and then we had too light. It's just making sure that you have that amount on the cards so we can pay zero 
to rank up for the first one. So a dungeon ability, you can pay three gold to gain two combat, physical combat attack, or pay one light, or, or I'm sorry, pay three gold to gain two combat or one light, or pay five gold for both. Alright, so there's nothing else that we can do. So we will put these in the discard pile and draw six cards. Two, three, four, five, six, and we can do that because of our guild's quarters there. Or, uh, not guild's quarters, guild sponsorship. We'll replenish the room here real quick. And Rockleth, after battle, unless you have a bow, lose one HP. Um, and I also forgot here a potion. So we beat him, we get a potion as well. And we will go to threat level four. So now we roll two dice for the threat level. And this monster went away because we defeated a level one monster. So roll two dice here. All right, it's a trophy and one wound. So we will gain our wound. And this is what we have here. We have Lalande with the short bow. She can wield this because she's an elf. So it gets a plus one and it's a minus one skill for rogues. So she can wield this. Another Lalande, Thunderstone Staff, Adventurer, and Rugder Black Mane. So pretty good overall. So we have three, four, five, six, seven gold. We will go to the village. And we will go to the bazaar here. And we will purchase another short bow for five. We have two left over. And I think I'm actually going to spend an iron ration to get a lantern for three gold. So we're out of gold. I'm going to use my village ability for Jewelers Guild, have a rogue, and an item so I can get one iron ration back and plus one HP. I am also going to heal my wound for being in the village. I am then going to go to a dungeon and we have three, four, five, six, seven attack and let's go after this dude. We have the light. Uh, two. So we can go down here to Valkrith. We have a light to get into it. Donated right here. Uh, we have to put a hero of the highest level back on top of our deck. And let's go ahead and do the lawn day. So our attack strength now is three, four, five, six, seven still. Because Ruder gets a plus one for attacking demons and as denoted right there he is a demon so we defeat him so we will get one frost wound three experience one lantern token and one potion so lantern and token and one frost wound and three experience. Alright, so we will refill the room and there's another impish servant. Uh, we can, oh, and we did not have to lose one HP because we had a bow, so we're good there.
we are going to level or rank up for one experience. So now we're at rank two. So you may ignore uh, the uh, caution effects and then your dice roll with a plus one card also resolve your trophy ability. So that's good. And then Levande can get a plus one attack for reaching prestige rank number two. And that is all we can do. We draw six cards still because we have a plus one there, but we have one wound. One, two, three, four. Draw two more cards. Uh, I'm gonna keep a little bit more of an eye on my camera here. Uh, I've decided to try a different setting so that I can take longer videos. Um, let me know if the quality of the video has diminished to where it's unbearable by any means and I'll switch it back to the uh, my original settings but I want to try to make the uh, videos a little longer so that there's not as many different videos to go through to watch one single playthrough. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you. So. In case I wasn't clear, we were able to rank up because we had two light and we defeat a level one plus monster. So, this is our hand. Milande, Joba, Dagger, Dagger, Rugder, Shortbow. So, we have a lot of gold again and that's what we want. We're supposed to be getting a lot of gold. We are a bloodhound here. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold, and let's go ahead, go to the marketplace. We're going to draw a card, Lalande, for nine gold. And I don't know if I want to build a, let's go ahead and build our deck a little bit more before we start building barricades, just because I feel pretty confident that we can get gold pretty quickly, as you can tell. Uh, so I'm going to buy one more short bow for five. And I should have, I apologize, rolled for our threat counter. So we need to do that first before I do anything else. So we roll two dice and we rolled four monsters. So I'm not gonna change what I did here, um, but we do have those to deal with. We can heal a wound, a frost wound with one light for being in the village. So, what we have here is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attack. We'll go to the wilderness, possibly eleven if we fight a demon. And we have two light left in our hand. Uh. Let's see here. Your... I think we may go after this Tundra Wolf Pack. I don't feel confident going down to level 3's yet. Um... So let's go ahead. We're going to go through the Volcanic Springs for one light. So that's going to use up our second light, and then we're going to use our last light to go down here to Orc Tribute Site. So it's going to use up all three lights that we have in our hand. 
and we will go after this Tundra Wolf Pack. So he starts with three health, but we roll a d6. And before and after battle, we have to discard, from your discard pile, destroy one hero or weapon. So we will have to destroy the short bow. Uh, like I said, I've, if I'd known things a little differently, I probably would have built the barricade uh, instead of buying the short bow that we just wasted money on, but uh, this is where we are. So, roll 1d6. That's a 2. So his health is 3 plus 2 equals 5, and we had 10, so we destroy him. So we will get 2 Frost Wounds, 6 Experience, and 1 Lantern Token. Well, 1 Lantern, 6, and 2, 1, 2 Frost Wounds. And that will be our only two wounds that we have at this time. I'll refill the room with a Tundra Wolf pack. That's a little different effect though. Alright, so uh, we had five gold. We defeated a level one plus monster, so we can rank up for two. Those in the right one. So we're at rank three. We can build the Bazaar's Barricade for minus uh, the cost equal to your rank. So building the, baz uh, the Bazaar Barricade now is worth seven instead of ten. Because we are at a rank three. So we will draw six more cards, or five cards. Three, four, five. Raise the threat level. I'm sorry. We do need to address this. So we defeated a level 2 monster. So two monsters go away. And we have two monsters left in the monster horde. So we have to draw two damage chits to figure out where the village is getting attacked. And the first one is the guild's quarters. And the second one... is another guild's quarter. So that got hit pretty hard. And we go to round six. So we're roll two dice here. And it's a X and a green. Green is raid. Gain one gear token, add two monsters to the monster pool. So I'll change that to two. And we get one gear token, I'll do a potion. So, this is what we have here. Two Thunderstone Staffs, Bree Septum, a Short Bow, and an Adventure. Pretty weak stuff here. Um, we have enough to maybe fight the, the Mosquito. We'll have to spend one light to move out of this sight and let's see whoops we will go to well let's see we have two four seven nine gold let's go ahead and go to the bazaar and we're going to build the uh bazaar barricade for seven so we have two left over and we will spend Two more, uh, two more iron ration tokens for four to gain another ring of learning. And I think this will be our last one of those. So, uh, we can also heal one wound by using up our other light from our Thunderstone staff to heal one wound. And... We will use a potion and a lantern to heal our other frostbite wound. So we have no wounds now. We'll go to the mosquito. We have to roll a d6. Um, 
Where do I want to go after the impish servant? 